If you are like me, then whenever you have to talk to a stranger, then these thoughts come to your mind also. Am I looking okay? What if they don't like me? Oh my god, but my English is so bad. What if they think I'm stupid? I was shit scared of talking to new people too. But even then, I went on to represent India at the World Championship of Public Speaking at Florida, USA after winning four rounds. And if I can stand on that stage and talk to hundreds of strangers without peeing my pants, then so can you. And today, I'm going to tell you exactly how. So it doesn't matter if you just want to go to a stranger and say hi. Give a smashing presentation in front of hundreds of strangers. Or simply ask a guy or a girl out on a date. Today, by the end of this video, you will learn how to be confident while talking to strangers. So in today's video, we're going to learn how to talk to one stranger. How to talk to 10 to 12 strangers in a group discussion, especially during interviews. And finally, we are going to see how to master public speaking and give brilliant presentations, be it in your school or in your office. But most importantly, towards the end, I'll give you a bonus tip that will turn the tables and make you fall in love with talking to strangers. But before that, if you like what I'm saying, make sure you hit that big fat like button because that motivates me to make more videos. Let's begin. See, all of us have a close group of friends and family that we are very comfortable talking to. But when it comes to talking to somebody outside this group, we think twice. Our heart starts beating faster and some of us even start sweating. So here are the three things that you must do to keep your heart rate in check. Number one, realize that you do not have to be perfect. I want you to think about the top three villains that you hate. Mine are uh, Regina George from Mean Girls, Kamolika from Kasorti and of course Thanos. If you think about it, all of these three characters are smart dress great and are perfect and that's why we hate them being perfect will not make people like you on the contrary it will make people dislike you whenever you're talking to someone and he or she notices that you also have flaws you also make mistakes you also have your insecurities just like them that's when that connection happens number two make it about them if you want to build a rapport with someone, make the conversation all about them. You can ask questions like, where did you do your schooling? Did you like the new Avengers movie? How are you so smart? Tell me, do you also watch the Urban Fight videos? This has two benefits. Number one, people love talking about themselves. So give them that opportunity and learn more about them. And number two, when you shift your mental focus from, oh my God, what am I saying? How am I looking? To all about them that is their opinions, their interests, that's when your nervousness goes down. And number three, join different groups. Jump on the opportunities of meeting new people. So help organize events, join clubs like uh, Toastmasters, Rotary, BNI, where you'll get to meet new people regularly and have one-on-one -on -one conversations. Now, apart from these groups, another thing that will help you talk to new people, even outside your country, is this app called Cambly. They have tutors from US, UK, Canada and this app provides one-on-one -on -one speaking practice sessions with them. I'll show you how this app works just before the bonus tip. But for now, remember, you need to get yourself in situations either through groups, through apps or through communities where you can have as many one-on-one -on -one conversations as you can. Be it for MBA, job recruitment or bank exams. Group discussion is an important round. But it is very different from a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Because here you have to impress a recruiter who is not even talking to you. Instead, the room is full of chaos. He is shouting, she is shouting and nobody is letting you speak. But as Littlefinger says, chaos is a ladder. Now let's see how we can climb it. Whenever you are in a group discussion, you can do two things to impress a recruiter. Number one, show that you are a professional. Even if others are shouting, you don't shout. It's just disrespectful. 
and avoid using informal phrases like kya yaar what are you on the other hand you don't have to use complicated words uh, like shashi tharoor or be a grammar nazi it's okay to make a few grammatical mistakes here and there as long as you're confident while speaking number 2 show that you are flexible in accepting other people's views this is important because eventually you will work in a team where not everybody will agree with you your team members will come from different lifestyles background religions beliefs so even if they don't align with the way you think it's important that you're open to new ideas if you want to know how to start a gd what to say in the middle how to summarize it towards the end and want to know what kind of topics come in a gd round then i've made a separate detailed video titled how to prepare for a group discussion you can find this video on my youtube channel or i've even left the link in the description make sure you check it out एक सीक्रेट बताऊं पब्लिक स्पीकिंग से सबकी फटती है इट मीन्स एवरीबडी इज अफ्रेड ऑफ इट द फियर ऑफ पब्लिक स्पीकिंग इज द नंबर वन फियर मोर देन डेथ व्हिच मीन्स पीपल आर रेडी टू डाई इंस्टेड ऑफ स्पीकिंग इन पब्लिक व्हिच मीन्स दिस फियर इज नो जोक बट जस्ट लाइक एनी अदर स्किल इवन पब्लिक स्पीकिंग कैन बी मास्टर्ड एंड हियर आर द फाइव वेज टू डू इट नंबर वन वेन यू आर ऑन स्टेज किस Keep it simple, silly. Have you ever heard Navjot Singh Sidhu speak? A fallen lighthouse is more dangerous than a reef. That was a very bad impression. Even a cock crows over his own dunghill. I'm sure he's a great man. But what I'm trying to say is that it's okay to sound complicated and smart whenever you're writing a book or the dialogues of a movie. You can pause and rewind. But whenever you're giving a presentation, your audience cannot pause and rewind you. You need to be clear from the word go. So keep it simple just like you talk to your friends. It's okay to be nervous on stage. The problem is when we show the audience that we are nervous by clutching our wrist too tight, playing with our pockets or pulling on a handkerchief. So here are a few gestures that you must avoid whenever you're on stage. Playing with your hair. Sorry, sorry. Apologizing too many to, times. Uh, I said that. Having your arms crossed. turning your back to the audience the easiest way to take care of your body language is to get on to the stage and take a few seconds to relax yourself just breathe and smile and then start number 3 forget about audience reaction when you're public speaking you're talking to a group and in that group somebody fought with his wife somebody did not get promotion somebody is tired somebody is addicted to instagram and all of these reactions have nothing to do with you personally think of it this way when you go to hear someone speak do you wait for their speech to bomb no right you're there because you want to learn something from them most of the audience wants you to succeed rest of them don't care because they have their own priorities So even if you see a few bored faces here and there forget about it and just focus on your delivery your presentation because this is your moment and nobody else can take it away from you before i move on to the next section this is what i want you to do comment and let me know when was the last time you heard a great presentation and who gave it was it your school principal or somebody from your office or was it a ted talk In case you have it provide the YouTube link below so that all of us can watch and learn from it. And number 4 invest as much time and money it takes to learn how to speak. Let me tell you a story. In 2010 I joined a public speaking club called Toastmasters. It's a self help club. Nobody is an expert but it's a community that learns by supporting each other. I used to pay $6 per month to be a part of it which is like $72 per year. my college friend used to be like why are you wasting money just to go there and speak just a few months back he pinged me his name is aziz and he said uh, you remember how i used to make fun of you i was wrong clearly public speaking changed your life so invest as much time and money it takes to learn how to speak well Obviously do not fall for those shams that promise you that they will teach you English in just 30 days. But if it's an app, a club or a community that says that it's a process 
and they are with you throughout that process, then try them out for a few times. See how others have progressed. And if you get positive vibes from them, invest your time and money in it. Because I have seen people get way ahead in their careers just by getting over their fear of speaking. And one of the ways of investing your time and money is through the Camly app. Before I give you the bonus tip, remember I told you that I'll show you how Camly works. So this is how the app looks like. You can see the list of the tutors and where are they from. Check out their profile and start talking to them like this. Hello. Hi Bella, how are you doing? Oh, I'm great, nice to meet you. Where are you from? Uh, so I'm from India. I'm in the Philippines, so oh. I'm quite nearby. Yes, that's a very common topic, oh, uh, yes. Avengers, uh -huh. Game of Thrones. So there are people you will uh -huh. not believe are so crazy. They set up an alarm for 6 a.m. in the morning, they get up and then they watch it. Uh, we homeschool our children. That must be a challenge. It is, because they don't listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> If somebody makes a grammatical mistake, do you also correct it? Uh, it depends on what they're looking for. Some people don't like to be corrected, mm -hmm. but there are some people who enjoy it. Like they like to, when I make a small correction, mm -hmm. they will try to say it again and they'll try to correct it. So it really depends on the student. Then that. Thank you, Bella. Have a nice day. Okay. Bye. Thanks. So that's how easy it is to talk to someone through Camly. And yes, this video is sponsored by them. But you know that I do not accept sponsorship requests unless I really believe in the product. And I think Camly is a great way to talk to new people and learn how to speak confidently, especially when you are preparing for exams like IELTS. And I even got a discount for you. Go to the subscription page and type the referral code The Urban Fight, and you will get a flat 30% discount on all of the packages. I really hope it works out for you. Look, being nervous is not new to you. You were nervous on your first day of school. You were nervous when you first rode the bike. You were nervous when you gave your first exam. But now, all of that nervousness is under your control, right? You know why? Because you are a fighter. Just like any other skill, speaking confidently is also a skill that takes constant practice that only a fighter like you can do. So today's bonus tip is this. Always go back. Every time you fail on the stage, go back and do it again. Every time you screw up talking to someone, go back and do it again. Every time you do not clear a GD round, go back and do it again. You will be nervous, but it only means that this thing is important to you. Nervousness is not a stop sign, it's a growth sign. On that note, if you want to receive a notification every time I drop a new video, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon because I make career, finance and relationship videos only for you. I'm going to see you again very soon. Until then, keep fighting the urban fight to be fit.